Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy D. Welcome to another video. Now today in this video, I want to uh, share with you some of the uh, nail salon website templates that I've developed for my previous clients and current clients. So let's uh, check out some of the features that I've developed for these templates. Okay, let's get started. Alright you guys, so if you want to check out all of these templates that uh, we currently offer, you can go to uh, smartergood.com, then you can uh, click on the uh, theme library, and uh, once you are here, you can click right here to see all of these available templates. We have uh, a bunch of uh, different categories right here, but in this video, let's uh, check out the uh, salons categories. Okay, so once you are here, you see a bunch of available templates for this uh, category. You can uh, click right here to view the template, or you can uh, check out these uh, different uh, templates as well by simply uh, click right here to check it out. Okay, so uh, basically this is the uh, template that um, I've uh, developed for some of my uh, customers, and then I uh, customize it a little bit, add more features into uh, these uh, templates right here to make it look nice, to make it uh, better for the uh, business owner. As you can see, this uh, template right here has all of these uh, features and uh, functionalities that you need to uh, uh, get your business more uh, customers uh, and is help you save more time, uh, more money on uh, running your business. And it's uh, automate your business as well if uh, you take a look at this uh, template right here. Okay, so uh, once the uh, customers uh, get to your websites, they can uh, book the appointments with your business. They can uh, click right here to uh, contact uh, your business. And uh, if uh, you go down here, you have the sections where you can uh, write some of the about your business right here. You can uh, replace these images. And if you uh, scroll down uh, right here, we have the uh, sections where you can uh, uh, write some of your services right here. Uh, we have a beautiful sections right here where we can uh, offer our promotions uh, and the uh, button right here where people can uh, click on and book an appointment with your business. And down here we have the uh, price list where we have a uh, different uh, column uh, with different uh, categories, uh, service categories right here. And we have the uh, price list where you can uh, write your services as well as the pricing for it okay so down here at this sections we'll have the uh, instagram uh, embedded on your website so people can uh, click right here to uh, view uh, the post that you make on your instagram account and uh, whenever you make a new uh, post on your instagram account it will automatically post that post right here so whenever people uh, go to your websites, your customers check out your websites and they'll see your latest posts. And if you scroll down, we'll have the uh, sections right here where we pull these Google reviews directly from your Google business profile. And uh, as you can see right here, we can filter out all of these four star and five stars review and we hide all of these uh, low uh, reviews, uh, you know. And if you uh, look down here, we have the uh, button where people can uh, book the appointment or we have the uh, map right here where it show where your business is located. And people can uh, click right here to get directions to your business. They can view your business address and the average uh, Google reviews right here. And down here is the um, footer where it show your potential customers. Uh, a little bit about your business, you know, the uh, subscribe for more offers. This way you can collect your customer's email address, you know, so just in case if you want to uh, send out a new offer of promotions, uh, this is the best way to collect your customer's email. 
all right and over here we have some quick links where people can uh, check out different parts of your websites your about page your services page portfolio contacts and stuff like that and down here we have a nice sections where we can link your social media pages right here so if they your customers have these uh, social media accounts they can uh, follow you on these uh, pages over here is your contact information your phone numbers and the address all right and uh, let's uh, check out the uh, book appointments uh, tab right here people can uh, click right here directly and they'll be able to uh, book an appointment with your business now this uh, appointment system right here is uh, very dynamic and in a little bit I'll show you the back end of this uh, website right here and how to sign up for this website it's very simple so when people uh, go to uh, this page right here they can uh, book an appointment with your business they can choose the, the date uh, they can choose the time and they can go to the next steps to book uh, a service so as you can see these services are in different uh, uh, tab in different uh, categories so we can organize it to make it look nice all right so people can uh, pick the service for example this one and this one and we can uh, collapse this right here and it will show us the uh, subtotals for those two services and uh, we can uh, click right here to go to the next step and it will ask the customers if they want to choose any uh, additional services for example let's uh, choose this one right here for five dollars so over here uh, we have the options of um, having our assistance uh, listed on this uh, book appointment system right here uh, the customers will have the options of choose what assistance they want or they can choose this options right here where the system will automatically choose for them all right if we go to the next step the uh, customer will have to uh, enter their email address and uh, passwords to log in if they don't have the account yet they can uh, go down here and create an account and uh, if they want to check out as a guest they can uh, click right here and all they have to do is just enter their first name last name email and uh, phone numbers then they can uh, go to the next step to check out for example let's uh, choose this example right here all right so just like that it'll uh, give the uh, customers the uh, summaries of like, the date and time where the appointments take place uh, of the uh, assistance the services that they booked earlier and uh, down here we'll have the options of create coupons for your system for example if you want to offer 20 percent off for customer first time booking online with you you can do that with this uh, system and uh, the best thing about this system is that uh, for the uh, business owner they can uh, manage the uh, they can manage all of these appointments on the comforts of their phone they can download the apps and they can check out all of these appointments all of the uh, coming up appointments on their phone uh, they can see all of the uh, customers name contact information emails and all of the services as well as the uh, total price all right you guys so if you want to uh, sign up for this uh, uh, website right here all you have to do is just go to uh, smartandgood.com and uh, once you are here you can uh, click right here to view the uh, template and as you can see you can view the templates on a uh, different screen side so basically this is the uh, laptop uh, this is the uh, tablet and this is the uh, mobile okay so this is what it would look like on the mobile phone and now uh, once you are here you can uh, click right here to uh, use this templates right here and all you have to do is just go through with the process you can choose the uh, plan so with this plan right here is come with the uh, premium domain name uh, hosting SSL certificate and um, uh, with this plan right here I'll be able to assist you if you have uh, some uh, questions if you want to update a certain things you get the uh, VIP support from me and uh, okay so once you are here you can enter the uh, site title for example it's going to be my nail salons business and uh, down here we can choose the uh, URL for this uh, website and uh, if you take a look down here uh, this it will be your URL you can uh, copy this link 
and uh, you can uh, paste this on your browsers and it will uh, direct people to your website for example let's pick the nails business and as you can see right here the uh, URL it just changed to smartandgood.com slash nails business and this is going to be your uh, URL but don't worry in the next step you'll be able to uh, pick your custom domain name and uh, right now it's just uh, looking up to uh, see if this domain name is available and as you can see right here this domain name is available in .NET but for example if you enter uh, Nails Business 101 it will be available in uh, .com as well and you can uh, click right here to choose this domain name and then you can uh, click right here to go to the next step but because this is an example so I'm going to uh, skip this step right here and I'm going to use the uh, regular URL I just uh, choose earlier which is uh, this one right here and this is how people are going to access my website alright so uh, once you are over here all you have to do now is just uh, create a username okay so nails business and it's going to ask you for your email address nails business at gmail.com now all you have to do is just enter the uh, password and confirm password if you have a coupon you can enter it right here but if you don't all you have to do is just uh, click right here to agree with the term of services and then create an account all right you guys so right now it's just uh, registering your websites right now if you guys uh, don't have the time to create the websites yourself you can uh, contact me and then I'll be able to uh, uh, customize the website for your business but if you have the time to do it you can uh, simply go to smartandgood.com pick out the templates you want and then you can uh, customize the website yourself okay so once you are here you can enter the uh, username you just uh, created okay new business enter your password okay you can uh, click right here to log in all right you guys in order to uh, go to the uh, dashboards of the website first you need to activate the website all you have to do is just uh, click right here to activate the website it will ask you to uh, check out with uh, stripe secure payment gateway once you are over here you will see the uh, subscriptions plan which is uh, $25 a month this includes uh, cloud hostings domain name SSL certificates as well as the uh, VIP supports I just uh, told you about uh, okay so once you are over here you can enter your cards information the cards the expiration dates and the CVC code and you can enter the name on the cards the billing address and uh, you can uh, click right here to subscribe and then uh, after that it will direct you to the uh, back end of your website are right, you guys so after you uh, check out with stripe secure payment gateway you will get redirected to the uh, dashboards of your websites and now uh, once you are over here you can uh, go over here and uh, you can uh, check out the uh, front end of the website to make sure this is the exact websites that you picked earlier and uh, make sure everything worked properly okay so it just take a little bit of time to load right there and this is the exact websites that we choose and we install earlier okay so now if you want to uh, make the changes uh, to the front end of the website it's very simple all you have to do is just uh, click right here to edit with elementors when you uh, click right here to edit with elementors you will be able to um, make the changes for the uh, text right here you can uh, change these descriptions right here and uh, you can uh, change the links in for these uh, buttons right here okay and if you want to make the changes for this logo right here as well as the menu you can uh, click right here to uh, customize the website all right so it's going to be the same thing for these sections right here basically these two options right here will help you make the changes for your websites for the front end of your website okay so let's check out edit with elementors as you can see all you have to do is just uh, click right here and over here you see the uh, titles okay you can uh, change the titles right here or you can uh, click right here to make the uh, direct changes right here for example and if you want to change the colors and stuff like that you can go to the uh, style over here it gives you the uh, text color you can choose the text colors right here you can choose the uh, typography right here you can uh, drag this uh, slide right here to uh, change the size of the text 
and uh, down here the way transformations and stuff like that these are just uh, basic uh, edits you know and you can easily make the changes right here you can change the uh, patterns uh, the margins and stuff like that and over here it just uh, give you the uh, navigators these are different sections of your website uh, but it's not that important so you can uh, click right here to close it and down here if you want to make the changes for this um, column right here okay so basically we have four columns right here we can uh, click on the uh, columns button right here and go to uh, style we can uh, go over here and make the changes for this image right here we can uh, click right here to upload the image from your computer or you can uh, click right here to go to your media's library as you can see these are some of the uh, images that I used to create the website but if you already have uh, the images of your business of your customers nails you can go over here and upload it alright so over here is the same thing you can uh, change the text right here you can uh, click right here to uh, change these titles and as well as the uh, description and uh, down here for this button if you want to uh, direct uh, people when they click on this button to a different page you can go over here you can uh, paste in the links right here or for example if you want to direct people to the uh, booking page you can uh, click on booking and then it will show you all these related booking page and you can choose this one right here you can choose the uh, alignment uh, if you want them to be uh, aligned in the center or on the right on the left you can do that you can change the size you can uh, change the styles so these are just some of the uh, basic informations you can go over here and make the changes and then you see it make the changes directly right there all right and uh, once you are done you can uh, click right here to uh, update and if you scroll down these sections is going to be the same things you can easily click on it drag and drop uh, so this website right here is already pre-built for you all you have to do is just go in here to make the changes of the text the way you like it and you can uh, make the changes for these images as well you can simply click right here to edit this section and you can go to the styles okay you can go to the uh, background overlay and you can make the changes for these section all right so it's going to be the same thing for this section you can go over here click on this button right here and we can make the changes over on the left hand side or we can uh, click on it directly and make the changes right here and if you scroll down okay so I, in a little bit I'll show you how to connect your social media's page uh, on the front end as you can see it just show you the um, short code right now but if you uh, click right here to preview of the uh, changes and it will show you uh, what your customers would see okay so if you go down here this is the Instagram feed that we pull so in a little bit I'll show you how to connect your Instagram feed right here and down here is our Google reviews and uh, this we can make the changes in the uh, back end so for the uh, front end if you want to make the changes for this map right here all you have to do is just uh, click right here to make the changes you can enter your business locations right here or you can uh, enter the address and then you can uh, change the height of this map right here you, we can zoom in and out for example so I just uh, zoom out a little bit so it's look very nice now and we can uh, click right here to update and if you uh, uh, take a look over here uh, after we click on update uh, our previews will uh, automatically update as well and if you go down here see this thing a little bit taller now all right so let's uh, go over our customized tab so after we click on this button right here it will open up this uh, tab for us we can uh, click right here to uh, make the changes directly for this logo right here we can remove this logo or we can uh, click right here to change the logo if you already have the logo on your computers you can uh, click right here to upload it all right it's very simple very easy so this logo right here is regular logo and this one right here is for people viewing your website on a retina's uh, screen displays 
Uh, so basically this logo right here will look very nice on those screens as well and you can change the uh, logo size you can simply uh, slide this uh, uh, bar right here and then it will make the changes for you if you want to change the, this menu right here it's very simple all you have to do is just uh, go back over here and go back one more time and if it shows you like all of these um, customized options for you so if you want to change the menu you can go to menu you can go to the uh, primary and if you want to add a new item to your menu you can uh, click right here and then if you want to remove a certain items you can uh, click right here to remove but over here are all of your pages and if you uh, go to the uh, customs link you can enter a custom link right here for example it's going to be a shop uh, you can paste in your shop URL right here and then uh, you can uh, click right here to add it to uh, your menu and if you uh, take a look over here it will be your shop and you can uh, simply uh, drag it to uh, uh, put it in a different order okay and let's see so there are two options you can uh, put it under this uh, tab right here or you can uh, put it evenly uh, with uh, these uh, menu for example let's say if you want to put it under uh, services people can hover over here and then and then uh, they'll see uh, your shop under but uh, we are not going to uh, need this uh, one right here we can uh, click right here to remove it and it's going to be the same thing for your footer down here if you want to uh, make the changes for this uh, footer uh, we can go to the main page hovers over this um, edits with elementors and then we can edit this footers okay now let's uh, go back to the uh, back end of this uh, website right here let me uh, show you some of the cool things that I've integrated so over here this is our plugin where we can uh, connect with our social medias page okay we can uh, click right here and uh, uh, for this one to work all you have to do is just uh, copy the address of your uh, social medias page for example we are going to uh, click on the feed okay so right here you see the Instagram feed uh, you can uh, click right here to add a new feed for example if you have Twitter's Facebook or Instagram for example we can uh, click right here let's say we want to connect uh, basically this is the uh, usernames of your Instagram uh, for example Boston and uh, nails and spa for example okay so once you're done you can uh, click right here to uh, create the feed and as you can see I already have one right here so I'm just going to uh, close this one so I'm just going to uh, delete that one and uh, once you have the feed you can uh, go to the stream you can uh, set up this stream right here uh, for uh, to connect with the feed that we already have and we can go over here to make the, some of the uh, basic changes how many posts you want to show and uh, the layout what kind, what kind of layout you want to display your feed okay and uh, this is what uh, it will look like on uh, these different screen size and uh, over here is going to be the same shortcut that we see earlier is on the uh, front end of the website as you can see right here this is the shortcut so basically this is uh, already pre-built for you so all you have to do is just uh, enters in your uh, feed right here and then go over here and you can uh, go to the source you can uh, delete this one if you don't need it okay and then we can uh, click right here to connect with the feed and right here it'll show you all of these available feed we can uh, click right here and then just like that you guys it's very simple very easy you can connect your social medias uh, pages to your website you can automatically update uh, your potential customers when they visit to your website they'll see your website work dynamically you know and uh, if you want to pull the uh, Google reviews, you can go to the uh, trust index right here. And you can uh, uh, go to the uh, connect Google platform. So uh, you will need to uh, disconnect this one right here. All right. 
and we are going to uh, set up uh, very simple we can uh, click right here to connect we are going to uh, look up your business on this uh, uh, tab right here let's say uh, Boston nails and spa okay so we are let's say you find your business right here or you can enter your address in right here okay so it just located this business right here we can uh, connect all right so it's just uh, loading right now now all we have to do is just uh, we need to uh, select a uh, layout for your Google reviews we can uh, choose this one right here now we can choose the uh, styles however you like it you can uh, pick whatever is, uh, styles you like for example I'm going to uh, choose this one right here this one look nice too but uh, that would do alright so now we can do the uh, filters we can uh, filter all these four and five star or only five star. For example, let's choose all the uh, five stars right here. We can select the English uh, as the language, uh, date, forms, alignment, and uh, we have all these options right here. I'll leave it for you to explore. And uh, once you're done, you can uh, click right here uh, to save and get the code. But because this website is already pre-built, uh, you don't really have to copy this code no more. All you have to do is just connect the uh, Google platform and if you go to the uh, front end of the website and uh, like if we go down here here you see uh, it's in a different style but if you refresh it'll be in a totally different uh, style there you are as you can see right here and for this button you can uh, link it to your social media pages all right, so let me uh, show you a little bit about the uh, bookings appointment systems. Uh, with this um, system, it's very simple, but it's very dynamic. So you can uh, go over here to the uh, salon. Uh, this is where you are going to manage all of your appointments. And uh, you can also manage all of your appointments from the comforts of your phone. Uh, there's an app for iOS as well as an app for Android. So okay so right now there's no appointments nothing like that but uh let's go to the uh, settings uh with this uh, system right here you can uh, set off the uh, salons information right here uh, the day and time assistance selections you can uh, you can enable this or disable it it's very simple it's very easy you can connect sms services but usually i choose the email notifications because it's the most simplest okay so down here we can have the options of uh, automatically uh, follow up so for example within the three weeks timing period uh, if the customer having a uh, book appointments on your system on your website uh, the system will automatically send an email uh, telling them that it's been a while they haven't uh, visit your locations would they like to book an appointment and then you can uh, uh, paste in your website address uh, for example, it's going to be uh, the uh, URL right here. Okay, copy. We can go over here. We can uh, paste it in right here. Slash booking. For example, this will direct them to your booking page. It's very simple. And you can send them by uh, SMS um, message uh, services. Uh, this one take a little bit of setup but um, maybe I'll save it for a different uh, video and you can uh, automatically ask them for feedback okay so uh, you can ask them by email so this is the uh, feedback okay and this is the uh, URL for of your feedback for example if you um, want to get more review for your Google review right you can uh, paste in your Google's business profiles URL right here and then uh, right here you can customize the message so that they can uh, go to your URL and uh, give you a feedback okay or down here you can ask them uh, to um, okay for example you can ask them how was the experience if it's good you can ask them for a Google review okay but if it's bad you can uh, have them contact you so in that way uh, you can solve all the issue with your customers all right so it's a very cool system and over here you can even accept payment 
okay so if you go over here you can accept payment online and you can choose the payment method over here you can uh, set up with paypal so with paypal all you have to do is just enter your paypal email account and then uh, you can uh, unclick this uh, box right here because this is for the uh, paypal send box basically it's just a testing environment but when you're ready all you have to do is just enter your paypal account right here all right and uh, once you're done you can uh, click right here to update all right you guys so let's say if you want to add more services uh, to your online booking system or if you want to uh, categorize them in a different uh, category you can uh, have these uh, tab right here we can go in these and we can uh, do some uh, setup for example if you want to add a new uh, assistant you can go to this tab right here and uh, over here I have a bunch of uh, assistants already I can uh, simply click right here I can uh, move them all to trash okay and I can uh, simply go over here I can uh, click right here to add a new assistant okay so click right here to add a new assistant we can enter the name for the assistant and uh, we can uh, have the assistant email address right here or the phone number and uh, down here we can uh, set up uh, for example if they have a different uh, schedule uh, we can add a different schedule we can add a new booking rule okay so if uh, they uh, take a day off on the holidays we can uh, do it right here so when the uh, customer book the appointment online uh, on that day uh, this assistant will be unavailable all right so let's say if you want to add a new uh, service category you can go over here for example let's say if you want to offer uh, permanent uh, makeup okay you can uh, simply do that and click right here to add a new category and then it will be right over here so let's say if you want to add a new service we can go over here and add a new service okay so these are all of these available services and we have the price the categories and the uh, duration okay and we can uh, click right here to add a new service we can enter the uh, service name permanent uh, makeup eyebrows okay and this is going to be 250 dollars okay per unit and uh, down here we can choose the uh, category right here and down here we can uh, select so let's say um you offer us online booking date so this is going to be specifically on uh, saturday only or however you want to do it you can uh, have the options to uh, pick this date right here you can choose the first ship the second ship or you can uh, disable the uh, second ship so from nine to uh, five on uh, friday and saturday you offer this service uh, okay and you can add a new book in uh, rule right here for example on this date uh, you offer your service uh, from uh, eight for example or six to uh, this okay you can uh, disable this uh, second ship right here and you can uh, click right here to uh, publish so this system right here is smart enough to um, make it uh, logic goes when people or when your customers book the appointment online it will make the uh, logic to um, offer this service or not depend on however is uh, date uh, you offer us right here okay and uh, let's uh, go to the uh, front end of the website let's uh, click on uh, book appointment okay as you can see we have the uh, permanent makeup uh, category right here we can uh, click right here to book the appointment okay as you can see all the uh, changes just made for us and uh, this system right here has uh, a lot of the uh, useful functionality to help you uh, get more uh, business online you know you can uh, close more uh, customers by uh, having them book on your website you know the uh, nail salon sometimes it get really busy during the uh, summer's uh, month so by having the online booking system you allow your customers to book appointments with you anytime anywhere any place whenever they scroll on the internet they found your business they can simply uh, go to your website and book an appointment with you instead of like making the call at uh, 12 in the morning
You know what I mean? And uh, sometimes you are too busy to uh, listen to your phone, to pick up the phones and take the appointment for, uh, by having the uh, website. They can uh, simply go to your website and book an appointment with you. And you can even accept the uh, payment. So with this uh, booking system right here, there are still a lot more features that I haven't uh, go over. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact me. I put my information in the video description so you can uh, check it out. And if you don't have the time to uh, set it up for your business, feel free to uh, contact me and then I'll be able to uh, set it up for you by watching these videos. I hope you know exactly how to manage the website for your business. All right, you guys, my name is D. I want to uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Peace. Thank you.